Hello, it is Wednesday, July the 12th, 2017. Thank you for joining me for another video devotional as we're examining Psalm 119 together here at Covenant Keepers Ministries. And today we're in verse 73. And it says, Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Acknowledging that we were fearfully and wonderfully formed in our mother's womb by the hand of God should lead to further acknowledgments in our life. Among those acknowledgments that need to be made by each of us is to acknowledge that we were created for God's purposes and therefore ought to follow his instructions for life. I want to ask you, have you ever made something with your own hands? No matter if you're a master craftsman or not, you probably took great pride in what your hands and your mind had formed. Whether you used a pattern or, or traced something and then you created it with carpentry tools, it's probably just wonderful. Years ago, I made a baby crib for my for Christmas for our daughter's dolls. And, and then uh, my wife convinced me I ought to make two of them for each of her twin sister's daughters. So I did. And and I will give you this, they were not the best craftsmanship, but I spent hours on them in a good friend's shop, and, and I hauled two of them to Ohio as Christmas gifts. And my daughter still has hers some 40 years later. And, and I look at it now and I'm thinking, whoa, I can do a better job today. I know more about this stuff. But I was, I was excited to make the investment and give this to my daughter. I have had some relationship with some really master craftsmen in carpentry. And and these two, three guys, man, there's three guys I know just, they're just uh, phenomenal carpenters, finished carpenters, and they just do marvelous work. And I can tell you, uh, when they've taken some pictures of some of the work they've done for me, they're, they're glad to show it to someone else because they're proud of it. Not in a, in a haughty way, but in a way of look at what my hands have been able to do and look at all the time and effort I put into this. Well, I want you to think of this. The psalmist is teaching us something so valuable today. Divine hands have formed and fashioned every human being. That thought is too marvelous for me. God Almighty formed me in my mother's womb. I have, and you have, been fashioned in the image of Almighty God. What power there is in that thought. The Almighty, the King of kings and Lord of lords, used his hands to make and fashion me. And he's made us both in his image. Can we ever really get a real grasp on that thought? We are made and fashioned in the image of God. Now we have to decide something. If we understand that and we accept that and we believe that God did fashion and form us, can we gain enough understanding to learn God's commandments? See, your hands formed and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may keep your commandments. Knowing God formed and fashioned us should mean we have some obligation back to Him. I mean, take it... <laughs> From its literal sense, if somebody made you, you surely owe them for your life. They can look at our culture, even the church culture, it doesn't appear that's so true. We all like to make our own choices and, and for some reason believe that we know enough to handle life without God's help. But doesn't it make sense that the Creator would have some pretty sound advice to guide us in wisdom for our life since He formed and fashioned us? Appropriately, the psalmist asked God for understanding to learn his commandments. And see, one definition of learn is to absorb and to acquire. David states that he wants enough perception in his life that he'll absorb, he'll, he'll make it a part of his whole nature, the commandments of God. I marvel that God's given so much personal attention to each of us. Don't you? And to a great extent, God has the entire claim to our life. Yet, he waits for us to make the decision to follow and obey him. A little examination is needed on my part and yours. 
First, we have to acknowledge that God formed us. Secondly, we need to ask Him to give us understanding on how to live life. And thirdly, are you currently obeying what you know to be the Word of God? And where you're falling short, will you repent of that and ask God to give you the power to follow all His commands? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, how do we thank you for forming us, fashioning us in your image? There aren't enough words. And so I, I ask you, Lord, to help me today to do everything I do for your glory and honor. Let none of it be done out of selfishness or, or vain deceit. But let me pursue you with all my heart. And let those who listen today hunger and thirst for righteousness, that you might be preeminent in our lives. Thank you for helping us. We love you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Have a blessed day. You know God loves you so much. May you follow after him with all your heart.